Hi guys, we're going to try something a little bit harder today, um, but stay with me because it's worth it. This is one that might be a bit of a challenge for some of you guys, but definitely build towards it because I think we can all we can all build towards things and uh, you can definitely do this. It's I promise you it's worth it. Um, a little note before we start, um, if you are absolutely brand new to bar chords, then this will be a challenge, sorry, um, but start with the F sharp minor because it will build on your strength of your hand and you can also start with a power chord shape if I move this guy in the middle out the way you can see that's just going to be this one this one and your little finger behind it if you can that would be perfect um, the reason I call it power chord shape is because that's your F sharp power chord so it's neither major or minor if it's just these guys because it's not got the third in it so a little bit of theory it's the third that determines whether the chord is major or minor but if this guy was down then we'd have a major if he isn't we've got a minor but only if we bar it so the bar is what you want to use for this song, but if you're brand new to bar chords, start by learning this chord, particularly for this song, because then you can work on that power chord shape, and then you can work on what works for you with the bar as well, and there's not too much going on with your fingers over here. Anyway, right, so I'm going to just play this one for you, and then I'll talk even more, you lucky people, okay, <laughs> and I'll try and keep this hand in the middle. Um, I've tried all kinds of picking patterns with this one, and I've tried to go for something that's satisfying and fairly simple, hopefully which will make it more about the chords for you to learn. So, we'll see how this goes. You fill up my senses Like a night in the forest like a mountain in springtime, like a walk in the rain, like a storm in the desert, like a sleepy blue ocean. You fill up my senses, come fill me again, come let me drown in your laughter let me die in your arms let me lay down beside you let me always be with you come let me love you come love me senses like a night in the forest like the mountains in springtime like a walk in the rain like a storm in the desert like a sleepy blue ocean you fill up my senses do love this song. I'd never heard of it until um, a week or two ago, two weeks ago, that was it. I just think it's the most, one of the most beautiful songs I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> when I first looked at the chords, I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> but it turns out it's really lovely and they all work. It's kind of like walking downstairs, if that makes sense. It's like, doo, doo, doo. walking down, walking down. And especially on the guitar, it does feel like you're just walking down. It feels like I'm playing Packabell's Cannon. It's really interesting. So in terms of my picking pattern, my hand is back. Here we go. I'm trying to hit the bass note and then go uh, E string, B string, G string. No matter what chord I'm on. So obviously my thumb's going to jump depending on what chord I'm on. If I'm playing a G, it's going to come up to the E. Um, I'm going to try and keep these guys here. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the screen and not my hand. Um, so yeah. Thumb on whatever bass note you're playing with a B minor, I want to get it from the A string. It will sound bizarre if you put the F sharp in the back. It's an interesting kind of sound, but it's not great. Not for this song, so you want it to go from the A string. Um, oh, another thing to talk about is that D, D, uh, D slash 
C sharp. Now, what that should mean is a C sharp in the bass, but I just don't have the time to go. Yeah, it doesn't even sound nice actually, because it's a bit clashy. So what I like to do is use a D major seven, because I just think that works a bit nice. And this will all sound better in context. Remember, so you got your D, D major seven, B minor, straight to an A. Sorry, this hand totally disappeared then. Let's do that again. And do do a little bar ache, just because it's quicker. You'll notice I do that a lot. So with my A, normally I play it in A like that, but I use a little bar A to get there quicker because the changes are so, so quick in this song. It's just plod, 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 off you go, and, and it hopes that you know it. I think I even slide at one point, so from my F sharp minor, I'm trying to get this guy out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I just slide it down. And I think at this point, so it's the same kind of picking pattern that I'll have. I will have a, a three, string, three string thing going on. That is hard to say in the morning. But it, it might be the bottom or it might be in the middle. I hope that makes sense. And hopefully you can see on the video. Um, so I will very slowly go for a verse and just talk you for anything weird that I do. Because <laughs> you guys know me, I'm all about the weird. So starting with these ones, I'm wiggling them so you can hopefully see them a bit better. We'll go. You fill up my senses. So we're still on the bottom ones, these three. And then we're going to ah uh, <laughs> B minor. I had to look again. Now this time I've taken it from the B string and I've moved it up. So I've gone middle finger, index finger, thumb. Like a night in the forest, and I leave it there at that point. <laughs> Behave yourself, fingers. And we'll keep going. It's still there, it's still on these ones. Like the mountains in springtime. Slide. Like a walk in the... And I don't bother with the full G here because I'm not playing the bottom string, so I'm just worrying about getting these guys. Walk in the rain. And you can either play it like that or like that. For your A7, I'm still in the middle. Like a storm in the desert. Like a sleepy, still ignoring the bottom, blue ocean, little bar for that D major 7, B minor. You fill up my sin. And this one I should put it down really because it sounds better with it. Now I'm not putting down the bottom of the G, I'm putting down the D because that's the note for senses. It should be a D to a C sharp um, in the melody part. So it will sound nicer if you've got that D, okay, rather than. So, senses, slide down, come fill me again. So I'm largely in the middle, it's only at the beginning for some reason, I do it the other way. But you don't have to, you could do it in the middle from the beginning. You fill up my senses, and that works just fine. So keep it simple for you, yourselves, guys, don't be bizarre like me and mix it up. <laughs> Keep it in the middle, so thumb on the bass notes moving wherever it needs to go. And in the middle it's just middle finger, index finger, thumb, I think. I'm just checking. Yeah, it is. So this guy over here is redundant basically, he's just keeping me in place, he's my plant. Uh, and that is just about it. Now I feel like there was something else I wanted to say to you guys about this song. I think mostly just chill and <laughs> don't worry if it's like, oh my gosh, that's like 11 chords. You can get this. You can definitely get this. Because you can see they're mostly simple chords, especially this lovely D major 7. I do like that chord. Handy one to have. Very handy for Frank Sinatra, my way. Um, oh, that was the other thing I wanted you guys to know. So, I'm changing it up a little bit with the D, D sus4, so I'm going... So then I am definitely using the bottom three so that I get that. I call this a, like a Brian Adams D, this D sus4, because it always makes me think of. But enough about that awesome song. <laughs> so you're just going E string, B string, G string, just like at the beginning, and you're just gonna. Um, no, we're not gonna break into Brian Adams rose. So you're just gonna pluck with your D string in the bass. string, B string, G string, then this little finger comes behind your ring finger, and again, E string, B string, G string. You fill up my senses 
Like a night in the forest, etc, etc. Okay. Alright, I think that's covered all the little bits of it. So the main thing here then is just go very, very slowly. And don't worry if it all goes completely kafuddly. <laughs> just carry on. This is, I promise this one's worth it. And it's a good little study piece as well because it's teaching you how to walk down in chords. Again, very similar to Pachelbel's Canon, which would be a... And I mean, that's that's no um, what am I trying to say. That's not a useless skill, basically. It's a handy thing to be able to change that quickly and know which chords to go to. So there we go. Lecture over. I really hope you like this song as much as I do. And I hope this has been of some help. So thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.